Hey, how you going? So, um, I'm just going to show you today how to replace the RAM in an Asus Zenbook. This is the UX303UB, but I think the last few models have all been pretty similar. So this is the bottom of the laptop, initially. I'm not there. So have the hinge here. The hinge will be on this side as we work through. It's a really, really easy laptop to upgrade. Um, first thing, find the right screwdriver. Yeah. So here we go. So probably one of the easiest laptops I've ever had to upgrade the RAM in. So you start off. Just remove these screws. One. Two. Oh, damn it. This one's a wee bit longer in the middle, so it's the only one that's different. Three, four. Oh, don't scratch the beautiful. Come here. Beautiful shiny bottom. Five. Come on. Don't look the two times. Come on. Six. Seven. Number nine, so they all just pop out. Now there are two more screws on this, and they're a little bit sneaky. Get a flat hot flathead screwdriver and just this is on the hinge side. So that these things they don't clip in, they're glued, okay? I don't know why they bothered to put these in, but they did. These hidden screws. Bit of a pain in the ass to get these things off to be honest. See they tend to fall apart. Come up. You know you wanna. You hear them. You can hear them. Arrgh. There we go, there's one. And number two. There we go, get those off. That one came off a little bit easier. Right, so underneath here we've just got two standard Phillips head screwdrivers. See here. One in each corner. So we'll just... These got to come out too. These pop out real easy. Still here. Okay. So just removing those two. Now when you got those guys off, and actually that just comes off really, really easily. There's no clips, okay? There's no little plastic clips. Uh, I'll just take these out. So there's just the nine small screws and the two big ones, and you're in business, okay? Sweet. So now we're inside the laptop. We'll just have a quick look at everything for you. So we've got two fans. Um, I guess, pretty sure this is the CPU fan and the GPU fan. Battery across here. Um, solid state drive. No, a few bits of masking tape. Very nice speakers. Cool. So... The RAM, right here in the middle. So as I say, on this particular laptop there is only one upgradable slot of RAM. I don't know if this is like it's on all of them, but mine we've got this tape covering her up. Carefully peel back. Oh, or come off completely. Whichever. Oh, here they come off. I'll just pop these out of the way. And should be able to reveal a stick of RAM underneath here. There we go. Nicely squirreled away. Beautiful colour actually. Nice blue RAM. 
Apple would be proud. So you just pull back these two levers here, ease gently, one on each side. Just use your fingers, don't use anything metal. And then the ram will come up at an angle, pop her out. So there's the old ram, 4 gig. And here's the new ram that we're putting in, DDR3. This is 8 gig. Okay, so um, old, new. I prefer the old, looks nicer than the blue one, but that's life. Okay, so same process. Just gently prise her in, ease her in. If it's right, then these two clips will pop perfectly into place. Um, foil down. I guess these two fellows can go back on. Just, uh, just an added safety precaution, I guess, this. Cool. Um, and then just repeat the process to put it all back together. It's <laughs> Of all the laptops you'll ever have to upgrade RAM on, this is probably one of the easiest really easy um so get these back in first but easy to the point of being unbelievably so yeah so then i mean feel free to don't watch the rest of the video of me screwing it all back together but it's a pretty straightforward process cool you'll feel it all as it goes back together it it just feels right Feels like you're bolting a panel on the side of a car or something. Right. Everything just lines up. It's not like one of these funny old crappy laptop covers that, um, you know, little plastic clips and you had to prise things apart. This just feels like it's engineered and you do get these little clicks just as things line up, but yeah, she's, a, she's a nice machine. Cool. There we go. Hey, well. I mean, there's no point in you sitting here watching me do all this. So, um, thanks for watching my video. And, yeah, see you again. Cheers.